This flag was at the position of Ukrainian military personnel in the hottest spots of Donbass. I brought it from near Donetsk, where the guys are sitting in the trenches, where the guys are dying. They died in my presence when I was there. For me, they would give a medal of some kind. I can show a lot of them. But this flag is of a greater significance, because here it is signed by hands that smell like earth and gunpowder. They wrote to Ihor, my friend. Thank you. Ihor Malatsky visited the servicemen in Donbass on his 95th anniversary. A blue-yellow flag with autographs and wishes of the military stands in Ihor Fedorovich's room. He ordered a flagpole and a trident. And this has already been sent to me from Kyiv. I asked for the top to be there. Now this, the girls serving there have also signed. They are great. Today Ihor Malatsky is 96. He is a participant of the World War II. He was in three concentration camps – Terzin, Auschwitz and Mauthausen. The man keeps two uniforms – from prison and a Soviet military one. It's rather heavy. Ihor Malatsky wears a uniform decorated with awards and medals in commemoration of those killed in World War II. He says that when he was in the Tarzan concentration camp, he saw how people were ready to give their lives for the flag. One had the regiment's banner hidden under the vest. I don't know what could have happened to him for his regiment banner, but for the Germans, the Nazis, it was a grave crime. Yes, there was a regimental banner. Losing it is like losing a soul, you know. And he managed to save it. After the release from captivity, Ihor Malatsky was an artilleryman. Then he could not even think that in half a century he would again go to the combat zone. This year he plans to visit the positions of the Ukrainian military personnel again. And he will also take the flag there. Reported by Roman Smoller, Natalia Belokudria, UATV News.